He looks sad and Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three dwellings. Here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him, righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his adversaries on every side, his lightnings light up the world, the earth sees and trembles, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples behold his glory. All worshippers of images are put to shame, those who make their boast in worthless idols, all gods bow down before him. Zion hears and is glad, and the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Light dawns for the righteous, and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. For a shining moment, Jesus disclosed to his chosen apostles his divine glory. Peter had already confessed by faith that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. And by grace, this was confirmed and illuminated on the mountain of the Transfiguration. Moses and Elijah appeared there to represent the law and the prophets. In many and various ways, God spoke of old to our ancestors, giving the law to Moses and through the prophets, preparing his people for the coming salvation of humanity. And now in the fullness of time, he speaks to us through his Son, who is the refulgence of his glory the very imprint of his being, through whom he created the universe and who sustains all things by his mighty word. Moses and Elijah also remind us of the theophanies they experienced, that is to say, the personal manifestations of God in the Old Testament. For Moses, God's presence was often accompanied by thunderous sounds, and for Elijah, a gentle whisper. And now God's presence touches us personally with his mighty yet gentle hand as he reaches out to us whenever we've fallen, overcome with fear like his apostles. And he says, do not be afraid. Let us pray. Saints Peter, James, and John, chosen apostles of Christ, who beheld his glory on the mountain, illuminate our prayer lives and teach us how to cultivate a closer relationship with Christ, that we may pursue all holiness in this life and behold his glory wherever he manifests it, from the thunderous sounds to the quiet whispers in our lives. And when we fall down with fear, let us look up and see our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh,
Contre.